right, here in the UK today we're going to be scraping a roof and then treating all the moss after clearing all the gutters. So the issue that we've got now, loads and loads of moss on the roof, creating issues with the gutters, blocking it all up all the time. It's coming down onto this flat roof as well, everywhere, all over the place, and really just creating a mess. So the idea is we're going to be scraping off 99% of this moss, treating whatever's left, clearing out all the gutters, and that way we can get a, a nice result safely and easily without climbing all over the roof, without risking breaking tiles. And by the end of the day, this should look better. In six months' time, it will look even better than that. It does take five to six months, generally, sometimes up to eight or nine, depending on the weather, for the remaining moss, algae, lichen, mold to die and fall off the roof. Ten forty-four. Jake has finished scraping the top roof. We will do the ridge tiles in a little bit. Once I've done the other side, he's just on this bottom piece here. Get all that tidied up, and then he can come and give me a hand on the back. see most of the moss didn't make it to this gutter here. A couple of bits that were in here before, but all the rest, all yeah, looking pretty good. Us. Right, uh, if you could grab the green brush or one of the, for those poles, and we'll just put it on, on that pole there to get in behind the conservatory, please. The green brush. Yep, the little green one goes on the end of that. holding a little bit of water up here on this flat roof. Uh, so, you know, we'll let the customer know, but it's not really a whole lot she can do about it. We will be rinsing this down, but the window cleaner who recommended us for this job is going to be coming and doing the windows and uh, sorting out all the glass once we've been and gone. With any luck in the next couple of days.
Whoa, this one's a lot heavier than the last one. It's there. Roof scraped, so we've got 95% plus of the moss off. We're only trying to get enough off to make sure that it's not going to block the gutters when it comes down after it's treated. We're now going to be cleaning the outside of the gutters and then using this Dosatron box here to mix the chemical. We're using BAC 50 in there, and that will dilute down to a final ratio of 2.5% on the roof which will be a little bit more than enough to kill everything off and keep it dead for a number of years. So we're going to be doing the outside of the gutters, fascias and soffits uh, first because they'll need to be rinsed down and we don't want to be overshooting and rinsing some of the treatment off the roof. Got the long pole, spray nozzle all the way down. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Right, so, water in, mixed chemicals out, take this down the side of the house to make sure I've got plenty of hose up on the roof, check it for kinks, and then find somebody to turn the tap on, you're somebody. Right, up we go. That should have been only slightly further out, but should be taut. So now, uh, grab this. So, what you'll tend to find with the mustard lichen on top is that by the time I finish spraying the roof, it will have gone from yellow to green. Right, you go on please Vic. Yep. So, just going to get the water out of the hose. I should be able to feel it and hear it when the air is coming through. It will be a sign that the chemicals there are ready to go. There we are. You'll find very quickly that yellow mustard coloured lichen will change colour and go green. I don't know if you can see that, but it does seem to be turning a green almost straight away. This is quite a coarse nozzle. We don't want any particles floating around. The garden hose pressure is reasonably low as well. Just so we're not misting everyone and everything in the area. Keeping it all under control, all looking good. Working through it section by section. It's a little bit time consuming, making sure that there's bubbles all over everything. So all of these will have a surfactant in them. And it will allow it to stick to the roof, stay on the roof, stay where it needs to be. So it will also stick to walls and things like that if we need to treat any lichen and algae people's walls and that sort of thing. Make sure we get plenty around the back of that. Try not to get plenty on the skylight roof because it is a soap or at least part of it is a soap. Won't do the 
glass much good in terms of being able to see through it properly. As you can see that mustard lichen definitely changing colour up there. I'll try and get the top on the other side while I'm up here. Just a little bit, make sure I'm going slightly more than halfway across the roof here. Because the other side, I'm going to have a lot more pole extended out. Might as well do the chimney a bit whilst we're here. Try and get some of the lichen and moss off that as well. Right, that can go off please. We tend not to scrape the ridge tiles quite as much. Because we often find that they are loose. It's not worth knocking one off. The chemicals will do the trick and there's not enough moss on a ridge tile to lock everything up. Right, so one of the reasons that we're here is because the moss keeps coming off the roof and it's getting ground into the new tarmac drive that was only new uh, a few months ago and is now growing on the tarmac drive so as part of cleaning and treating the roof we're also going to be treating this moss down here and all the way along the tarmac path here as well Okay, time is 2.33. It's taken us about half an hour to treat the roof both sides. It's all looking really good. Clean the outside of the gutters, fascia soffits, eaves, all the way around. Got a little bit of staining here on some of the gutters. Where they've gone brown, tends to happen where um, they have been leaking and the plastic UPVC is oxidised. Um, that will disappear over the next couple of days and it will get slightly better again. So we've sprayed all the paths, all the tarmac where the moss was falling off the roof onto the path, so it will kill that off as well and that will just disappear over time. We have sprayed the roof, cleared all the gutters, cleaned the gutters at the back here, top and bottom, all looking really tidy, really good. Really happy with how the job's gone. Like and subscribe.